Liberals Club Hall has inspired this film. The scenes are not of a courtroom, but of the English countryside. And the case is for its defense from disfigurement. In that and every other train are the advocates for the defense. Office worker, artisan, notary, worker, old and young. In short, you who sweep daily into the town to work in the roar of traffic, characteristic of our modern and hurried life. Or at the machinery of this mechanical age. Many of you who are left at home make the best of your surroundings with window boxes, while the children's playground is often just the street. Of course, there are the parks, which all of us can enjoy. But the trouble is that most of them are hemmed in by bricks and mortar. And though they're well-kept and essential, they still remain artificial and confined. True, these lungs do provide a relief from the streets, but the shadow of confined space is always there. How different to the grand open country, with the fresh, clean air coming across the hills and dales, and the rivers and lakes, with their quiet, still waters offering their havens of peace. The fell land where men can hazard in glorious freedom and the coastland where sea and country meet. A wonderful country. Yet so much of it is spoiled by spasmodic building. Surely all building could be planned to avoid such encroachments. Houses are obviously necessary, but surely such wasteful destruction of nature's gifts is totally unnecessary. In the same way, we must have traffic in our towns. But we need to the change from the roar of vehicles to the murmur of nature's waters. From the daily rush of thousands to the gentle surge of the waves along our coastline, surely the loveliest in the world. Our town parts have to be cramped to let us have the great open country. For country like this, the Council for the Preservation of Rural England has been fighting a battle for many years, fighting to preserve such unspoiled beauty as this, for instance, from unsightly pylons. All over the country, their vigilance is helping to preserve nature's gifts. This Estdale Valley, the CPRE, was able to save from afforestation. And one of our allied parties, the National Trust, has bought such country as this for the people. But these are only items in the work of preservation. The CPRE are now fighting for great tracts of land to be used as national parks. Other countries have their national parks, like America's Yosemite, over a thousand square miles. The Valley and Falls are only a small part of the wonderful holiday garden. Altogether, the United States have 21 national parks with an area of 12,000 square miles. South Africa has its national Kruger Park, where animals find sanctuary and people interest. Many other countries have national park systems, but we have none to preserve the superb features and wildlife of our countryside. Why? There are thousands of square miles of country and coast which should be made into national parks, extended districts to be preserved in their natural aspects and kept for public enjoyment and health. Mountain, moor, forest and heath form nearly one-third of Britain's total area, and it must be protected. The Council for the Preservation of Rural England are urging the government to create these national parks. The cost for setting up commissions to do this would not be prohibited. In fact, it would be less than the upkeep of the Royal Park in and around London. Town parks have to be railed off, but national parks will be open and free, like the country you're looking at now, all of which is part of the proposed national park. Are you going to allow such scenic loveliness to be despoiled because you won't fight to preserve it? Are you going to allow our inland and coastal beauty to be lost? Are you willing to give up your grand inheritance Will you always be content with confined spaces or the grand open country? Would you rather see houses sprawling over the broad acres or the unsullied and natural downs? Or are you going to take the road to national parks, the road to freedom, freedom of England's country? That is the case for the defense. 
for the defense of our right to the beauty of our land. You can help obtain the verdict by joining the Council for the Preservation of Rural England.